Hi everyone, I wanted to give you an idea of um, what Katie and I did this morning. We did some orienteering in an area called Bayfront Park, which is on the peninsula just south of San Francisco. This is one of the routes I did this morning. Um, let me scroll it so you can get an idea of the area. Those symbols on the left are symbols that I don't, I haven't memorized yet. I need to memorize them to figure out what I'm really doing when orienteering. Anyway, the idea is you start and finish in the same spot, and you have to complete the sequence of markers as uh, as fast as possible. Um, this one today took me about 30 minutes to do, and was about well, it says up here. 3.9 kilometers long and when I do the running I record my route um, with my GPS so here's my GPS recording overlaid not very accurately on top of the park using Google Maps and what I'm going to do now is show you an animation of how I ran the course. Here is the San Francisco Bay Area. San Francisco is right around here um, and we were towards the South Bay that we uh, did the orienteering in Bayfront Park. Here's the route that I ran as recorded um, and now I'll show you the animation of that. That we started right next to the car park, going up a slight hill to get to number one. Number one was right over there. Stopped and had a look at my uh, map to find number two. Went over the top of the hill. It's kind of my aim was a little off. It was hidden behind the trees over there. And started back up the hill. I'd just come down to get to number three. Number four was a long long way away I was already starting to get tired luckily this section to number four was pretty flat although slightly muddy this morning we just had a lot of rain the area in the background is the uh, San Francisco Bay Okay, number five was pretty straightforward. I could see it on top of the hill in the distance. You can see me slowing down as I go up the hill. This is recorded at four times regular speed, so. You don't have to wait the 30 minutes it took me to run it. I did pretty good with number 6, although a guy passed me, so I followed him a portion of the way. There's a slide uphill here again. Couldn't see the target until I got pretty close, and then uh, saw it behind some rocks. Number 7 is reasonably straightforward. Again, it was hidden behind the trees you can see in front of me there. Ran through the trees, found the path, found one item was this was the wrong one, went back to the trail and was the one sitting right next to the path. Ran down, didn't find the right gap in the trees, went past the trees and then I saw it in the distance. Should have gone through that big gap in the right. Then started climbing up the hill again. At this point I was getting pretty tired. There's one, one and a half kilometers into the, one and a half miles into the race. Up here, saw it pretty quickly. That was number nine going for number ten. There was a slide uphill all the way, so I was going quite slowly. But I knew where I was going, I was aiming for the edge of the trees, and it was just around the edge. So number ten was right there. Number eleven, I headed off what I thought was the correct heading and uh, across these fields I couldn't see where I couldn't really see anything 
And as I reached the sort of top of this hill here, I realized I was too far over. I'd, my aim was off. I had to come back and go to the right. So that wasted a little bit of time. That was number 11 I just got. And then number 12 I saw right away. It was out in the open. You could even see it through these few trees. number 12 and then headed for 13 which was right next to the end. Actually this is um, playing back at 8 times reality. Number 13 was right here under this tree and then a quick sprint to the finish. And uh, that was it.